Youth mentoring impacts thousands of students each year. Statistics show that mentoring relationships help children succeed at school, work, and life. I'm Nathan O'Leary for Comcast Newsmakers at Suffolk University's downtown Boston studio. Marty Martinez is the CEO of Mass Mentoring Partnership, and he joins me now to discuss how mentors make a difference. Yeah. Marty, welcome to the program. And for those who don't know, can you talk about what Mass Mentoring Partnership is? Yeah, absolutely, and thanks for having us here today. Absolutely. Um, you know, Mass Mentoring is a statewide organization that's working to fuel the movement for youth mentoring across Massachusetts. And so we do that by partnering with 225 different mentoring programs that serve 30,000 young people all across the state. We provide them resources, support, and training to really help them serve as many kids as possible in the highest quality way that they can. You've been CEO for over a year now, but you've actually been with MMP for seven years. Yeah. Uh, what's your vision for the organization in this new position? The vision for me of, for Mass Mentoring is to really make sure that we're meeting agencies, schools, community leaders where they're at. You know, we've been a successful organization for many years, but now we want to make sure that if organizations are trying to serve more kids in certain neighborhoods, if schools want to bring mentoring into an underperforming classroom, that we can help meet them where they're at by providing resources and support that really does advance the cause and and get more young people served. And I think that what helps is that this is personal for you. Absolutely. You know, for, for many of the young people that are served, they are coming from low-income families, single-parent households, and getting resources they really need. That's my background. That's where I came from. You know, raised by a single mom, first in my family to go to college. I know what it's like to have a, a mother who cared a lot, but didn't have the resources to support me. So the mentors that provided support to me when I was young, that's what we're trying to create for the thousands of young people across the state who need one. When you're talking about that support, they have it in place during the school year. Mm -hmm. What happens during the summer? Yeah, it's really hard. I mean, during the summer, there are resources for some young people, after school programs or kind of summer internship sort of things. But it's really important that the summer gap be carried over throughout the entire year. That a student who might get a summer job, a 15 or 16 year old Boston high school student who gets a summer job can get support, not just in that six or eight weeks, but right. that that support can carry over. And so we're doing a lot to partner with employers and partner with key community leaders so they understand that the summer opportunity being stretched across the year will create a greater impact for that young person. When it comes to mentoring, uh, what are the specific areas that you're focusing on? Yeah, there, there's really three buckets where mentoring makes a big impact. The first is really academic preparedness. A caring adult in the life of a young person helps them be better prepared for school. The second is really workforce readiness and, and, and skill building for a young person. Having a, an adult be able to teach you, what is it like to go to work? What is it like, what should you wear? What, you know, what's right. that gonna look right. like? That's really impactful and helps them be better prepared. And then the third area really is violence prevention. Keeping neighborhoods safe and keeping schools safe really is for young people to have a path that they understand is better than a path that could lead to violence. And so a caring adult in that path can help them make a better choice. All three of those buckets help to strengthen our community, which is really the end result of what mentoring is trying to do, which is strengthen cities and towns across the state. So when you're talking about the mentoring relationship, are you talking about a one-on-one, -on -one, something like Big Brothers, Big Sisters? Are you talking group-oriented? How does that work? Yeah, we're talking all those things. All we're those talking one-on-one -on -one with a caring adult, maybe a college student that might be mentoring an elementary school student. We might also be talking about a group of 10th graders that are getting mentored by young professionals in the community. Right. We're talking boys and girls clubs and Big Brother, Big Sister and high score task force. I mean, we're talking about any organization that's bringing caring adults and putting them into the life of young people to help support them so they can make better choices. How can people get involved, whether it be somebody who wants to mentor or somebody who needs to be mentored? You can get involved by getting connected to us at massmentors.org. You can also find mentors for young people that you're looking to get served as well, but get connected to us and most importantly, step up and support mentoring. All right, Marty Martinez, President and CEO of Mass Mentors Partnership, a pleasure to have you. Thank you for joining us for Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Nathan O'Leary.